Talking about special interest matters, uh, we have uh, two this morning, and the uh, first uh, member for special uh, interest is, of course, the honourable member for Rosebears. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mr. President, and uh, again, uh, like you, I'd like to offer my congratulations to the member for Logsdale and the member for Murchison for uh, good, strong campaigns and being elected to the House, re-elected, and uh, of course uh, to you, the member for Romney. I wish you well in your career that will develop here in the Legislative Council. Congratulations. Um, recreational planners have uh, long been aware of the health and uh, exercise aspects of planning spaces such as playgrounds and bike and pedestrian routes, Mr President. But a new need is becoming apparent, and that is easy access to recreational space for people with disabilities. This especially applies to children. It's become apparent recently that there is currently limited access to the so-called all-access playgrounds in northern Tasmania, especially in my electorate of Rosevears on the West Tamer. The West Tamer Lions Club has identified the need for better playground access and they've set about to raise funds, along with other community groups, to create these all-access playgrounds, including playgrounds in the Beaconsfield area, Mr President. So, what constitutes an accessible playground? There must, of course, be wheelchair access, and the equipment must be as easy as possible for everyone to play, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. So, for example, siblings with or without disabilities can, in fact, play together. A letter supporting the West Ham Alliance Club initiative from the mother of a son with a brain injury really sums up this problem, Mr President. I'll just quote from the letter. Thank you for the opportunity to tell you about my <coughs> playground experiences on the West Tamer with a disabled child. <coughs> my son, as a result of a brain injury acquired before or during birth, is autistic and suffers from uncontrolled epilepsy. From when he finally learned to crawl and then walk, he has loved to visit playgrounds. We frequented both the Riverside Tower Race Park and the Gravelly Beach Rose Bay Park recently. More recently, these parks have been redeveloped, much to the delight of able-bodied children. Unfortunately, our son can only watch from the sidelines as most of the equipment is inaccessible to him. He cannot support his own body weight, so climbing ladders and frames and flying things <coughs> are definitely out of the question. Unfortunately, this also excludes the slides. He can sit on a spinning roundabout with some support, but if other children are using it and spinning vigorously, our child doesn't have the strength to hang on and gets thrown to the ground. My dream would be to see a playground with some ramps, tunnels and perhaps larger slides, not tall, but wide enough that a parent or carer can help a disabled child go down even a wheelchair accessible swing. I can understand that playgrounds need to be redeveloped to meet current safety standards, but it would be greatly appreciated if they could at least be designed to consider accessibility for the less able in the society. That's uh, Diane Maynard's letter to the West Ham Alliance Club, Mr President. Uh, the club's plan for fully accessible playgrounds includes one, at Gravelly Beach, Rose Bay, to be built alongside the existing playground. That would be at a cost of between $100,000 and $150,000. It will have ramps, <coughs> tunnels, double slides, a wheelchair accessible swing, sensory boards, and a supported swing. At Beaconsfield and Beauty Point, there are plans for one or two individual accessible playground items, such as a merry-go-round for wheelchairs. Mr President, wheelchair access problems in our cities and elsewhere are at least being addressed and it's great news that something is being done to give kids with disabilities access to playgrounds and I'm very, very pleased that that's occurring in my electorate of Rosevears. Thank you. <coughs> 